Let's decorate some cookies together. So this first cookie is a strawberry cookie and I'm outlining it with a, it's kind of like a dark pinkish reddish color and I'm using outline consistency icing. I'm not the world's biggest fan of all in one consistency. I do use it sometimes, but I typically prefer an outline and a flood. Um, also this video is in real time, so you get to see why people charge so much for fancy cookies because it truly does take, it is a labor of love, if you will. So my flood consistency is anywhere, it's probably from like 15 to 20 seconds and that's gonna be a personal preference. You just kind of have to mix icing and see what works for you. But this consistency this day was perfect and you'll see as I'm flooding, it's almost mesmerizing. The icing is just settling back down into itself. It makes for a really easy scribe and really quick work. You can decorate a lot of cookies at once if you're not having to go back and scribe everything flat. So I do scribe a little bit just because I've got a few ripples there, but nothing too bad. That's pretty simple work. And then before this dries, so it's still wet, I'm gonna add some seeds in yellow. And I'm using yellow outline consistency icing. Um, this technique is called wet on wet. And typically you would use a flood consistency on a flooded cookie. I'm using outline because I feel like sometimes if I use a flood consistency on a cookie where I'm trying to make something small like a seed, the icing will spread out a little bit and it won't look as precise as I'd like it to look. So by using the outline consistency, I can control that and I can keep the details that I'm making very small. And I add a whole bunch of seeds on this cookie. I just love the way that it looks. I am gonna speed it up just a little bit. So once I finished piping my seeds, I came in with a scribe and just poked some of them back down, especially like towards the end because you have to remember your base is always trying to dry on you. But if you just gentle, gently poke them back in, they'll settle right back into the icing. And then I let that dry for 15 to 30 minutes and then came back and added my green leaves. And that's it, what a simple cookie. We made these for my son's teachers with a tag that said, you're the very best. It was adorable. So for the second cookie, we're making a flower and he's gonna have a smiley face on him. So anytime I add um, like an open mouth to a cookie, I like to spread some black icing in the background and that will be like the background of the mouth. It'll help give it some dimension. So I'm gonna start with some white outline consistency because I'm gonna do the petals first. So I'm gonna outline each one separately so that when I flood, they can have some dimension. And again, you really get to see how long it takes to make a batch of cookies. I am gonna speed this section up a little bit because I'm sure you don't wanna see me <laughs> pipe every petal. And then once I've got my outline in, I'm gonna flood every other petal. I'm not gonna flood them all. I'm gonna flood the ones that aren't touching each other. In that way, I can let them dry for 15 to 30 minutes and come back and flood the other sections and then everything will be separate and have dimension. It'll look really neat. This is that really good flood consistency icing. You can see that everything's settled in the last petal as I'm moving on to the next one. It's just, it's something that you've got to work on and practice with. And once you find that perfect consistency, it, it really makes it a lot easier to get your work done. And um, with a design like this, like sometimes you have to pull the icing into the corners just to kind of neaten it up a little bit. So again, I let that sit for like 15 to 30 minutes and then came back and flooded the other petals. You wouldn't want to let it dry completely before doing the other petals because that is what will lead to like cratering where the icing breaks in the center and it looks like it's kind of cracked down. By doing it this way, nothing will crater. It'll all still look separate. It still looks really neat. 
again, just minimal scribing needed. And then for his head, which is like the center of the flower, I'm gonna outline it in yellow. And then I'm gonna add the shape of the mouth, but I'm still gonna let those petals dry for like 15 to 30 minutes again before I flood in the yellow because I don't want it to run in with those other two petals that I just piped or that I just flooded. So it's kind of scary adding his mouth. I just add it to the center and then add the eyes later and it will all work out. So then once that's all crusted, I'm gonna come back and flood with my yellow flood consistency icing. And it always looks weird when you haven't added the eyes yet. It looks like a cyclops flower or something. So just scribe all that flat. I like to use a turntable so I can turn it around and make sure I haven't missed a spot, especially when I'm filming. I'm notorious for missing the top of a cookie when I'm filming because I just can't see it from the angle that I have to sit at. And then let that yellow portion crust before you add the eyes. So I'm using black outline icing to add the eyes and then you can use white outline icing to add like little catch lights on top of the eyes, the little dots. And then I also ended up adding some lines and details to the petals and I just missed filming it. I just didn't turn on my camera, which unfortunately happens sometimes, but you still get to see the finished cookie and it is it just fills me with joy. He's so happy to be a flower and to be here. And there he is. <laughs> 